I know that I'm making another video about Texas, but I don't care. They keep on making moves. The Texas Longhorns in 2023 have been one of the most interesting teams to follow in college football. From the conclusion of the Tom Herman era and the first couple of years of the Steve Sarkeesian era, Texas was in this purgatory state. Texas would constantly find themselves winning these big games, but then losing the teams that they should probably be winning against. You know, they put together a winning record, but it wasn't really that good. You know, they'd have a really good year and then they'd kind of fall back the next year all while having phenomenal recruiting classes. And that constantly just put Texas in this like weird, just purgatory state where Longhorn fans are like, when are we ever going to get everything to click? Well, everything's clicking now. Texas is currently 12 and one and started their season off hot with a major win over Alabama and then carried that success all the way through to a big 12 championship win. And they now find themselves in the college football playoffs. And you know, things overall have just been good for Texas. There's major rumors that you guys are going to be bringing back Quinn Ewers next season. On top of that, Arch Manning has not hit the transfer portal, which is a major win in itself. You also guys have the sixth best recruiting class in the entire country, and you already have three five-star recruits in the number one offensive tackle in Brandon Baker, the fourth best linebacker in the country in Colin Simmons, and the second best wide receiver in the class in Ryan Wingo. On top of that, it looks like you guys are about to flip the second best safety from Florida in Xavier Phil Psalm. Texas is also looking like a lock to land two of the most high profile prospects in the transfer portal in four star wide receiver from Houston, Matthew Golden, who is an absolute explosive playmaker on the field, as well as the most productive edge rusher in the transfer portal and superstar pass rusher from UTSA, Trey Moore. And you see, now Texas is just going to be greedy. You see, what everybody thinks of the transfer portal, they're thinking of Colorado, but Texas has made some of the most high profile moves in the transfer portal this year, and they're linked to yet another top 15 player in the transfer portal. It is now highly speculated that the number one safety in the transfer portal, Andrew Makuba, is going to go and become a Texas Longhorn. And there's a reason why Andrew is the number one safety in the transfer portal. This might be one of the most productive players in the portal, regardless of position. Listen to what Andrew Makuba has done in his first three seasons in college football while he was playing for the Clemson Tigers. In his freshman year, Andrew had 47 tackles with six pass breakups and one sack. In his sophomore year, he had 53 tackles with three pass breakups and one interception. And then in his junior year, he had 42 tackles with six pass breakups. This is a three year starting safety for a power five program who has more than 140 tackles and 15 pass breakups over his first three seasons in college football. And now it looks like he's about to become a Texas Longhorn. This is going to be an absolutely massive transfer portal win for the Longhorns once they land Andrew Makuba because the Texas Longhorns, if they're able to get that free safety out there, that guy who's able to just roam around and be able to cover ground, that is going to make Texas's defense that much scarier. They already are going to be bringing in one of the top edge rushers in the transfer portal and Trey Moore, who when quarterbacks can't throw the ball anywhere because they're afraid that Andrew McCuba is going to be flying around somewhere in the secondary, that's just going to make it so that Trey Moore is able to get home that much easier. Literally, Texas is stacking themselves up. I've already said it in my last video. Texas, if they bring back, if they bring back uh, Quinn Ewers, they're going to be, hands down, bringing back the most talent than any other team in college football. And then they also are gonna finish off with a top four recruiting class when it's all said and done. And you know, just to put a little bit of a cherry on top of this video, it also looks like Texas is about to flip a four-star linebacker from Texas A&M. Let me introduce you guys to Ty Anthony Smith, standing at six foot one, 205 pounds. He is currently ranked as the 31st best linebacker in the class of 2024. And this dude is an absolutely heat-seeking missile on the field at that linebacker position. This dude has speed, size, and physicality in bunches. And that's everything that you're looking for in a big time playmaking linebacker. So man, if I'm a Longhorn fan, I'm sitting pretty right now. Hey, you know, you're going into a game where you could not only beat Washington, but it could get bad. Like seriously, it could get bad in that game. I think that Texas is just better prepared to go up against a team like Washington than Washington is to go up against a team versus Texas. I'm gonna say I have that game in like 35 to 
21, 35 to 17, somewhere in there with Texas winning, obviously. This is a season where Texas legitimately has a chance to win the college football championship as well as bringing in a top five recruiting class and having a top three transfer portal recruiting class. Texas, on top of bringing back your star quarterback and keeping your number one quarterback from this past, come on man, Texas is going absolutely crazy. All my Longhorn fans, leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because we gonna keep you up to date with everything that Texas is doing because clearly you see that they're moving and shaking out here. All my Longhorn fans, it is finally your time. I know that it's been, I know that it's been a, a long road of just like, hey, Texas is back. We're, we're finally back. And then it's just like, ah, man, you know, kind of just fell off. We didn't live up to where we, all that's in the past now. Texas, I can officially say you are back must feel nice hope that y'all have a super blessed rest of your day know that if you're just going through anything that you can always call upon jesus christ remember you're not you're not hearing this by accident jesus wants to he, he works through all of us and he wants to let you know that you are not alone and that you always have somebody fighting there right beside you i don't know who needs to hear this but i hope that it receives you well no then don't ever don't ever worry like oh i don't know what to say like god he knows our hearts he, he, he literally lives inside of us so you don't have to understand exactly how you're breaking things down. Just know that when you talk to God, he knows exactly where your heart is. So always, if you're going through anything, know that you can call upon him. Love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.